an excerpt from Jane Austen's Emma. We've just arrived at Mr. Knightley's estate, Donwell Abbey, for a strawberry picking party. It was hot, and after walking some time over the gardens in a scattered, dispersed way, scarcely any three together, they insensibly followed one another to the delicious shade of a broad, short avenue of limes, which, stretching beyond the garden at an equal distance from the river, seemed the finish of the pleasure grounds. It led to nothing, nothing but a view at the end over a low stone wall with high pillars, which seemed intended in their erection to give the appearance of an approach to the house which never had been there. Disputable, however, as might be the taste of such a termination, it was in itself a charming walk, and the view which closed it extremely pretty. The considerable slope at nearly the foot of which the abbey stood gradually acquired a steeper form beyond its grounds, and at half a mile distant was a bank of considerable abruptness and grandeur, well clothed with wood. And at the bottom of this bank, favourably placed and sheltered, rose the Abbey Mill Farm, with meadows in front and the river making a close and handsome curve around it. It was a sweet view, sweet to the eye and the mind. English verdure, English culture, English comfort, seen under a sun, bright, without being oppressive. In this walk, Emma and Mr. Weston found all the others assembled, and towards this view she immediately perceived Mr. Knightley and Harriet, distinct from the rest, quietly leading the way. Mr. Knightley and Harriet! It was an odd tete-a-tete. But she was glad to see it. There had been a time when he would have scorned her as a companion and turned from her with little ceremony. Now they seemed in pleasant conversation. There had been a time also when Emma would have been sorry to see Harriet in a spot so favourable for the Abbey Mill Farm, but now she feared it not. It might be safely viewed with all its appendages of prosperity and beauty, its rich pastures, spreading flocks, orchard in blossom, and light column of smoke ascending.